Hello YouTube, like and, and subscribe. Subscribe. Yeah, man. Welcome back to the YouTube. It's Saturday, so I've got a shit ton of training and a shit ton of food to eat. So it's going to be a good day, man. I'll eat this everyday breakfast. I wasn't lying when I say eat that every day. I genuinely eat that every day, man. Um, we've got posterior chain and at least two and a half hours on the bike, and I cannot stomach a another indoor session so mm. I'm either gonna get wet or die in a tropical storm so yeah man I'm gonna eat this and get ready for some training Decent resistance session. That's probably my favorite session of the week. Uh, posterior chain, obviously with triceps as well, because it kind of is on the back of your body. We've got the sarong on, got two and a half hours, between two and two and a half hours programmed on the bike. Let's see how we get on. It's not raining, but it's absolutely red hot. All, all that's left to do after that is chill and pony pies. <laughs> is your job is to get me something nice to eat when I get off that bike. Understand? Omelette. Absolutely not an omelette. Anything, <laughs> anything but get some Thai food, something nice. Mm. Huh? I don't know, I can't cook. I don't need to cook, we just need to source it. Source it from anywhere. What are you thinking? Surprise me, yeah? But it's got to be good, man. Oh yeah man, we've got pickled mango. Should be about 20, 30 grams of carbs, some electrolytes and some water. We're halfway through man, one hour and 10 minutes. So we're looking good. We're looking good. There's no sign of any immediate rain. So we're flying man, we're flying. Just staying in, trying to stay in zone three. Finish it off with a bit of zone two at the end, but we're looking good man, we're looking good. Uh, yeah, man. Tunes are banging as well. Kilimanjaro. Thailand has the noisiest, noisiest motor vehicles in the world. Kilimanjaro boiler room, absolute belter, man. Yeah, man. We're in zone two now. I don't know if you can tell. It's getting dark. So. Just gonna cruise another 20, 15, 20 minutes, and that'll be two hours ticked off. Easy money. Easy money. I'm feeling fit, man. I'm feeling very, very fit. Yeah, man, I'm feeling lean. Although the scale weight's not really budging, it's like 79, 80, so we're flying, man. That was a good, good session. I was a little bit underhydrated when I left and when I got back I was fully hydrated things like that make me simple things like that make me happy man so but I'm under calorie 
under proteined I need to get some fuel back in the tank man see what Nongi D's whipped up look at that sound we've got blue rice yellow rice and one two three four five six seven two chicken one. Oh, a few more there but like I said man I am under calorie and under protein so I'm gonna have this and then probably it's half seven now and then have some protein oats before bed and then catch up on the calories probably tomorrow man but I'll see you tomorrow for a run in the morning 25 minutes mega slow it's my second run back from the injury so I'm, game plan is I'm just gonna run down to the river then walk back basically so yeah man I am gonna I'm gonna eat this it looks bang on that doesn't it absolutely bang on you ah good job pony huh not bad not bad www.tywife.com yeah man don't worry about me we polished them off we've got 10 in the end 10 10 little miniature wing things quite nice though quite nice actually we've got some a bit a little bit of dessert i've got one of these these are like custard cream so the sound and this point of fact what is this uh bet it's coconut is it coconut i don't know i don't even know it's high you don't know what it is that's yeah. useless for people watching i think it's coconut yeah must be you sit there eating it not knowing what it is i don't like it i suppose that's what i'm doing now man it tastes sound that bro whatever it is I'm, sh I'm crap with the autofocus. Very bad with the autofocus, I am. Apologies. It's like a green. M this one's purple. Purple monkey thing. That's um, that's about a thousand calories in the tank there. I had about 400 grams of rice. Probably more, if I'm honest. But. Still need to get some protein in. Only a little bit though. Like I say, I'll catch up on the calories tomorrow. Yeah, man. Absolutely perfect conditions for a little run, man. light drizzle that's just stopped no direct sunlight perfect man perfect just like i said 25 minutes second run back in the game very slow keeping it around like 11 minute miles 10 minute miles best i can it's um like i said before it's quite difficult to run slow consistently especially at the start um but yeah man i'll finish my coffee go and take a shit get going um try not to get mauled by wild dogs but three years close to three years in thailand i've got that um i've got that sorted man that was a big problem at the start just show no fear stare them out I, not today bro i will bite you back i, I will maul you back one on one now it's actually it's actually not the wild dogs that are the dickheads it's the ones that have got owners there's some there's some very use, useless information for you man Coffee's in one day, man. I'm a madman. I am living a crazy life, bro. But yeah, man. Why do I live in Thailand? Now, I'd love to tell you like a mad story that oh, I built up on online coaching and moved to a country where it's not as expensive so I can live a better life. All the game plan, but 
Unfortunately not, man. Literally, as most things in my life, completely by accident. Basically, I don't know, man. It's, um, it just falls into place, doesn't it? Obviously, dues tie, if you have not noticed. So we basically came here bef literally a month before the world shit its pants with the cove. And uh, from one reason or another, not been able to get back. Dude's got a job, decent job. So we just sort of stayed here, but like I say, I'm not complaining. It's a bit annoying because I can't really go home. For I can go home, but Obviously, you can't even. The scary thing is, I can't actually tell you what I think online, and that should scare the shit out of everybody. But people just cruising, man. So, oh, hopefully, that makes sense. But yeah, man, do's tie. Obviously, online coaching, PT. I needed to do something. I need. To, I need to work as well. So, sort of fell fell into place. And yeah, man, I think that's might be a bit of a disappointing disappointing answer for you but it's the truth man but I mean from staying here there's definitely ways you can just build something online and come and live here meet loads of people all the time who do that anything from even like even teaching English online and just live here I think I live in probably apart from parts of Isan which I've not been to I think I live in one of the cheapest places in Thailand as well so it's uh, pretty sweet, man. But like I said on uh, another video, the plan is to get you guys out here training, man. Fingers crossed, touch wood and all that. So, yeah, that's why I live in Thailand. Hopefully that answers answers the question. Um, like I say, not, not too glamorous or anything like that, man. <laughs>